Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Today's video is going to be a continuation of my August palette month here on my channel. In the month of August, I'm only posting content on my blog and on YouTube regarding eyeshadow palettes. I thought that would be fun for the summertime. And today's topic is going to be five best eyeshadow palettes under or just around the 10 euro mark. Uh, so these are very cheap and cheerful eyeshadow palettes. I also did a top five drugstore palettes uh, a couple of weeks ago as part of this series and those also contain some palettes that are a little bit more expensive that I do tend to like better than these but I think that if you're on a budget and you just don't have a whole lot of money to spend on makeup then the five that I have for you today are going to be really really nice for you to try. So I have a couple of selections here that will help you greatly, I think, if you don't have that much money to spend on makeup. If you're wondering what's on my eyes today, because I'm wearing quite a bold, colorful, crazy look today, uh, this is the NYX uh, Brights palette, and that will definitely be featured in an upcoming video. So if you would like to know more about what I think of this palette, then stay tuned. And I'm just going to start with whatever's lying on top, and this is the ELF Matte for Matte 1. I've never been able to try the two. I hear more people raving about the two. This is also not my favorite matte eyeshadow palette. And this also comes at the top end of the budget we're talking about today. This is right around the 10 euro mark. But this is a lovely eyeshadow palette. I can see why a lot of people are raving about this because for the price point, these shadows are actually really, really nice. I do feel that with these, you have to be quite careful because they can blend away quite easily, which is my issue with a lot of the palettes you'll be seeing here today. But you, if you take your time and you're willing to put a little bit more work into your shadow application, then these apply really nicely indeed. And you can build up a very nice basic look with this. And then for instance, go, on with, go in with a nice shimmer on the lid if that's what you like to do. So that's the e.l.f. Matte for Matte. Then another matte eyeshadow palette that I quite enjoy is the Catrice the Modern Matte Eyeshadow Palette. Now, Catrice's eyeshadow palettes can be a little bit mm, powdery, chalky, but again, this is another one of those palettes that if you're willing to make it work and you take your time blending and building up the shadow and blending again and building up again, then this is actually a really nice basic palette to have. It pulls really neutral. You do have a couple of dark shades, but I feel that these don't apply as dark to the eye as you might expect. So that's something to look out for. But if you're just looking for a very basic everyday eyeshadow palette, then this is a good one. And these retail for only five euros. So these are really, really nice for the price point, I think. Another very affordable brand that is, of course, Euro-based is Essence. Essence eyeshadow palettes, again, a little bit hit or miss. The ones that I have been most impressed with is the My Must Haves collection. And this is actually a palette that you need to compile yourself. They also do blushes in this and lipsticks, but you buy the separate palette and then you buy the individuals to go in this. The palette retails for around like two euros, I think, and then each individual shadow is around one euro and 50 cents. So in total, this was like eight euros or something. And also within this collection, the shades that you pick, you have to be very careful because they're not all that great. However, the shadows I have to pick work really well, and as you can see, this is a very nice basic look. I have forgotten which shades I actually put in here. This is a very nice all-rounder palette, and again, under 10, under, 10, under 10 euros. An eyeshadow palette brand that I don't hear a lot of people talk about because their offerings are different depending on where you're at, but a very affordable brand is MUA. And MUA over here, this little palette, which contains 15 shades, it's only $6.99, so that's actually really, really good value for money. They do a bunch of these in this like 15 pan style, and while really pretty, um, not all of them I feel are worth it because a lot of them are very basic and neutral, but this is the one in the shade Fire, Fire Vixen. Now, if this is not giving you Morphe, uh, oh, uh, what's it called, 3502 vibes, and I don't know what else does, You've got a very nice bright red, a very bright orange here as well. We also have a couple of really pretty, like, peachy, shimmery shades. The only two shades in here that I'm like, why are these in here, are these two grays in the middle, because they don't really go with the warmth that the rest of the palette has. This would have been a lot better if they put in, like, a charcoal, like, really deep, like, cool tone brown. I think that would be nice with this. 
Uh, so it's definitely missing a couple of like very deep shades, but for only $6.99, I was able to pull three very, very distinct looks out of this palette, and it quite surprised me how nice this was. You have a good like highlight shade, you've got your blend shade, you get a couple of transitions. Uh, there's uh, one, two, well, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six shimmers. Everything else is matte in here. So this is definitely an eyeshadow palette that is great for the price point. And then the final eyeshadow palette that I have to show you, of course, I cannot do a video like this without mentioning Makeup Revolution because their eyeshadow palettes can be very, very affordable. This is the Makeup Revolution uh, Reloaded Iconic Division. This is a dupe for the Anastasia Subculture palette. This is what it looks like. It has everything that the Anastasia has, but it also has a matte black, if that's something that you're looking for. And of course, it has a very different formula to it. It does have a sort of like a artificial smell, which I think that all of these Makeup Revolution palettes kind of have. They have this like cheap smell to them. Uh, but these eyeshadows work really nicely. They blend well. There's an, a lot of mattes in here. You only get these two shimmers. So if you like the idea of the Anastasia palette, and you're on a budget, or if you didn't like the formula of that one and you still like the color scheme and you do want to try this palette then for just $4.99, yes, this sucker is only four euros and 99 cents, you can get yourself that same idea in the Makeup Revolution lines. So those are five palettes that if you are on a budget and you do love eyeshadow like me, then of course you can try any of these to make a great eyeshadow look. Some of them may use, may need a little bit more work than more expensive eyeshadows. However, I feel that for the price point that these are at, they are excellent and I would highly recommend you looking into some of these. Um, so yeah, without further, further ado, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe because I make new videos every single Thursday and Sunday. And as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, every eyeshadow, uh, every video going up this month is related to eyeshadow palettes and I have an eyeshadow palette collection coming up for you. So I would very much hope that you would like to stay tuned for that and that you come back and watch more of my videos. I would very much appreciate that. I hope you have a great day and thank you very much for watching. Bye.